A note of caution, do not listen to this meditation while driving or doing anything that requires your full attention such as operating heavy equipment. You listen at your own risk. Hello, welcome to this meditation for healing a sick animal using the principle of colored light as the healing medium. Please read the notes provided beneath the video on the YouTube page so that you are suitably prepared. First, I'm going to guide you into a deeply relaxed and focused state. You should be sitting comfortably by now with your eyes either open or closed. Begin by inhaling a long deep breath through the nose, holding it for a moment, and then exhaling through the nose. Allow yourself to relax as you exhale. Repeat this with some more long, slow, deep inhales, holding each of them for a moment, and then exhaling through the nose. And if your eyes are still open, then at some point in these next few breaths, just allow them to close. Every time you exhale, you become more relaxed. You're going to relax into the chair, feeling safe, secure, and supported, just allowing yourself to go and to feel relaxed. You're going to be feeling very comfortable and enjoying the sensation. You're going to seek out some areas of tension and let them relax, starting with your feet. So focus on your toes, the balls of your feet, your ankles, and your shins. Let them relax on the exhale and then moving up, focus on your knees and your thighs. You don't need any tension there anymore. Breathing in, finding the tension, exhaling, and just letting the tension flow down and out through your feet, out through your toes. Move up through the thighs, across the belly and the lower back. Finding any points of tension there, points of stress in those areas, just allow it to flow down your legs, out and away through your toes. You don't need the tension anymore, you're just going to allow it to go. Moving up and focusing on the chest and the heart area. Take an extra deep inhale into the area around your heart. And then as you exhale, all the tension in that area is just going to go right along with it. Think about your shoulders, where there can be so much tension, where you carry the burden of things that concern you, which may include worry about the sick animal. As you exhale, set those burdens aside for now. You can come back to them afterwards, but for now, move them out of the way. Breathe deeply, scan those areas seeking out the tension, and let it go. Up into the neck where it joins your skull. On an exhale, allow it to relax, feeling the relief of that relaxation as it comes letting it travel down your body in smooth, comfortable waves, going deeper into relaxation all the time, feeling just how pleasant it all is. Perhaps your body feels heavy, perhaps it feels light. It doesn't matter, it's all good. Thinking about the area around your eyes and across the forehead. Allow any frown lines to just drop away your brow to smooth out fully relaxed. Allow your eyelids to feel even heavier than they are now. So nice to have them to be so relaxed. And with every exhale, remember you relax even more, letting wave after wave travel down your body, down your legs and out through your toes, or down your arms and out of your fingertips. Enjoying that sensation. Take another long, deep inhale, hold it for a moment, let it go, and go even deeper into relaxation, 
you can always go deeper, feeling safe, secure and supported, more and more relaxed. Breathe deeply, scanning your body, finding any spots of remaining tension and just allowing it to leave. Now you're going to do a countdown to go even deeper. In your mind's eye, envision yourself at the top of a short flight of steps. Perhaps there is a soft, plush carpet on them, nice and soft. It doesn't really matter though what the stairs look like. Just know you're going to be at the top, perhaps with your eyes closed, if you have difficulty imagining what they look like. In your mind's eye, reach out and take hold of the handrail. And in a few moments, you're going to count down from five to one as you step down each step. And with each step you go down, you will double your relaxation and it will be so easy and feel so good. 5. Take the first step down and count 4. Relaxing, going deeper. Step down again, 3. Doubling your relaxation, going deeper, being so much more relaxed. Step down again to two. Relax again. Nearly there. And again, you're doubling your relaxation twice as deep, twice as relaxed. Now take the last step down and one. Now that you are in this nice, deeply relaxed state, it is time to start the healing. Envision the animal you wish to give healing to. Imagine them on your lap, at your side, or maybe in front of you. It doesn't matter which. Just imagine them as you hope to see them, strong, healthy, and vital. Focus on the outcome you want as if it were real right now. If you have difficulty envisioning the animal, then just have a sense or a feeling that they are there with you and you can sense them. You're familiar with the feel of their coat or skin under your fingers, their body warmth, how they move against your hands, how big they are. So use those memories to help you flesh out, so to speak, the sense of that animal. Just pretend that they are there now with you and you are placing your hands on them with your eyes closed. Next, we are going to ask the animal's permission to give them this healing energy. It's not always what they need, and it may not be appropriate for them, no matter what you think or feel is right. In your mind, or out loud if you wish, say the pet's name and then ask, may I give you healing energy at this time? Be still and wait to see what response comes to you. What does your intuition tell you? Don't worry if you're not sure, or to be disappointed if you get a no. If you're not sure, ask again, and say you need a stronger, clearer answer. If you get a sense of no, then you may still help an animal somewhere, so you don't need to end the meditation at this point unless you feel that is better for you. If you are still not sure, then we're going to uh, simply ask then that the healing, if it is not appropriate for your pet at this time, that it be sent on to somewhere where it is needed. So if the answer was no and you wish to continue, then allow the image or feeling or sense of your animal to transform into a ball of gentle white light between your hands, a globe that is soft and warm to your touch. And somewhere in that globe is an animal that needs your help so you can still heal by allowing the divine or universal conscience to choose where to send the energy. So if so, just continue to hold that ball of light. If you received a yes and you are working with your pet, physically position your hands where your hands, not your head, tell you they should be. If the animal has a sore hip, for instance, logic says to put your hands on their hip. But this might not be the best place for the energy. It may be somewhere else on their body that it is better given. The 
There are no wrongs here. Just let your hands go where they feel best. Remember too, you're seeing the animal as healthy and full of life. Take a moment now to reflect on your breathing and relaxation again. Your intention is to heal in whatever way is correct for that animal. Now choose the color of light that you would like to work with. What color comes to mind first? Again, there are no rights or wrongs. Every color has positive energy. So if you thought of brown or indigo or something perhaps unusual, then use it. If you're really not sure, then you might want to use a generally loving and calming color like pink or blue. If the animal is critically ill, then a red orange or an intense turquoise color may be useful. Start to imagine a beam of white light entering the crown of your head. If you wish, you can draw that light down into your heart and then have it pass down your arms. But if that is too difficult to imagine, then just take it in through the top of your head and let it go straight down your arm. And as it leaves your hands, it transforms into the color of light that you have chosen. Let that light infuse into and around the animal. It can be soft and misty, or look like a gentle spray of raindrops or snowflakes. Perhaps it is more like a laser beam. However it looks to you, it's fine. You just want to fill the animal and space around the animal with that light. And if you notice any dark places, then focus on those for a moment, directing the light into that area in particular. The light heals. You are simply a pathway for it. Be relaxed and content. This is a moment of peace for both you and the animal a moment out of time and space where there is no pain, no suffering. At some point, the animal may signal to you that they have had enough. Your imagination may do something unexpected, like see them get up and leave. In that case, let them go. Otherwise, when you feel you have passed enough light through to them, then just let the light fade from your hands and close off the beam coming down through your crown. Give the pet a few imaginary strokes with your hands and wish them well. Place your hands back at your sides or into your lap and relax. In the meantime though, just continue to pass the colored light into the animal or the globe of light if that is what you are working with. And I'll be back shortly to guide you out of the meditation. If you're not already done so, close off the beam of light coming through your crown and place your hands back at your sides or into your lap and relax. You are now going to return up the short flight of stairs. So imagine yourself back at the bottom of those steps. Reach out and take the handrail. As you walk up the steps, each count from one to five will bring you back towards a lighter state of relaxation. So stepping up, one. Stepping up, two. Coming up, awakening gradually from that deep relaxation. You are returning to a lighter state. Step up again, three. Lighter.
to still. Step up, four, coming up. Step up, five. You are now in a lighter meditative state. From here, bring your attention to your surroundings, the room around you, any sounds, smells, your weight in the chair. Become aware of your body. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Move your head gently from side to side. Flex your hands. Flex your feet and ankles. Shrug your shoulders. Become aware of your arms and legs. Prepare to open your eyes. Stretch gently and then open your eyes. You are fully awake and present. Be still now for a while and enjoy the post-meditation calm. As Yogananda said, after meditation, sit still for a long time, enjoying the inner peace. As you don't cook your food and then run off without eating it, but rather sit down and enjoy it, so also the meditation techniques help to prepare the mind, but after them, sit quietly enjoying the meal you prepared. Thank you for participating in this meditation. I wish you and your pet well. <laughs>